Full Speed Autopilot is coming soon, and insurer is hooking up Autopilot users, and Gigafactory passes its audit. Here are your Tesla tidbits for March 15th, 2017. Today's first two stories are slightly stale, but I wanted you to have some content today as I hate missing two days in a row. On Sunday, during Elon's whirlwind of tweets on Power Pack 2 and how it can help Australia, Twitter user at BizBuilderUSA snuck a firmware question in that got an answer and some insight into autopilot release. The question was simply asking the ETA for firmware 8.1. Elon's response was, quote, It's been a bear to get done, but probably 10 days or so, depending on full-speed auto-steer test results, end quote. This would seem to imply that we're getting the new 8.1 firmware with its goodies, including a new Linux kernel and a performance boost for the center screen, as well as an unshackled autopilot experience. We'll see what the future holds, as this would peg the release before the end of next week. I tweeted this for you guys yesterday, but here's the full story for those of you who are just listening to the show. Teslarati reports that a new insurance company called Root, based in Ohio, will apply a cheaper rate schedule based on the number of miles driven by using Autopilot. This works very similar to other insurers' programs that have you plug a dongle into your OBD2 port and analyze your driving habits, except these guys are going full 21st century and deploying a smartphone app instead. It's not entirely clear how the company knows the car is using Autopilot, or if simply using the app and owning a Tesla makes some assumptions. Teslarati has reached out for clarification so hopefully we'll hear something back soon. Lastly on the docket tonight, Teslarati reports that Gigafactory has passed its most recent audit by the Nevada Governor's Office of Economic Development. Each quarter, the office audits Tesla to ensure it is hitting the targets promised when Nevada extended tax credits to the company in exchange for locating the Gigafactory in the state. In this case, the audit covered the time period from July 1, 2016 until September 30, 2016. As a result, the company scoops up just shy of $11.6 million worth of tax credits from the state. That should help pay for a piece of equipment or two. Great to see the company keeping its promises to the citizens of Nevada. The links for today's full stories can be found in the show description. Thanks to Tesla Rati and Electrek for being stupendous sources of Tesla news. If you get some value out of what I do each day, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. As always, thanks to super patrons John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, Cookie UK, and John Waller for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. If you're pinching pennies, that's totally fine. Please feel free to support the show with your positive iTunes reviews. Thanks so much to those of you that have recently added reviews. If you haven't yet and have some time, please please consider it. It really helps spread one of the show. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. That's it for today. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.